Welcome everyone to the second set of matches in the round two of the winner's bracket. We have Copenhagen Wolves and Curse Gaming. Curse is on the red side and Copenhagen Wolves are in the blue. Blue's at the bottom, red's at the top. Yeah. Okay, for Copenhagen Wolves, we've got Samukon, Cupid, Ymir, Poseidon and Guan Yu. Uh, Curse have gone for Sobek, Freya, which Pompon just loves, really. Uh, on her, Agni and Odin. So let's have a kind of little look at that. So, right, we've got a lot of AOE coming out for the Copenhagen Wolves. You've got the Poseidon, Kraken, obviously his Whirlpool's going to be annoying. You've got uh, Summer Cons, uh, Happy New Year Ultimate coming out. Also, also, eh, also the Cupid Ult coming out as well. So there's there's three large Ultimates there, as well as Ymir's Ult, which will fill up. So pretty much all the Ultimates they have will do one large area effect damage there so the synergy is pretty good on their end both teams are opting for the damage buff here Guan Yu decided to take the meditation early on so that's that's an interesting way he's he's decided to go against the vanguard and go for reinforced boots and meditation kind of a weird choice but well I, I want to see how this goes he's just pretty much going for more mana sustain as it looks but obviously Cupid having a little look, getting picked up by Sobek. Doesn't manage to get the flick out. Oh no, stuns him against the walls. Taking serious amount of damage there. Needs to get out. Gets, takes an auto attack. Jumped in the air. Fro on her gets frozen there. Just kind of saves Cupid life. Young Bay just. That's why sometimes coming back through this middle lane here can get you killed. Sobek going for another puck. Flows him up against Onher. Onher pushing him back with his spear. Is there going to be a stun coming out here? Oh, he's just like one hit away. Maybe they go for a dive. One out attack and a stun from Ymir does save Youngbae's life. And Youngbae has to back out now as he's just so low on health. One more hit and he would have gone down. Um, and the right side, Agni has gone for Boots of the Magi and level one Bancroft talent actually. So that's quite a well, aggressive starters you could ever start, really. Uh, Poseidon's picked up. He's gone for a pretty, like, I don't know, kind of all-in sustain build. He's got no potions, so he has to kind of get all the kills out. And he's going to be pushed under the tower quite hard by Agni. Just purely because of the build he's gone for. Vampiric Shroud and level 1 Warlock Sash. Fair enough, it gets the Warlock Sash out quicker. But you are held back now because look look at mana wise he's not going to get the mana back fast enough to really pump out the skills he needs a bit of action going on in the left here Odin coming here with Gone Years Might Sunwalkon taking a bit of damage there from Pompons 2 oh the burst will have purge in it so it kind of needs to be a little careful keep Spoof back coming in again another 2 going down onto Gone Yu Harok taking a few bursts from that now we have Hannah Gods on Sobek and Ymir. Now, most for anybody that doesn't know, the Hands of the Gods come out. Oh, good monkey bounce onto Odin and Freya there. Hitting them three or four times there quite well. Now, Samukon going after Freya. Gets banished up, so Pompom -Pom backs out there just because he was taking too much damage. Obviously, if there was going to... They are a level ahead. And First Blood goes to beside a middle, actually. Let's bring this back. Let's have a little look how it's going on. So, they're both on, like, half health, which is cool. Obviously, just all the pokes. That's kind of what happens in the middle. You just poke each other, see how you're going to go. Whirlpool going out on the best. Comes in there. Oh, he comes in there for the fire burst. He gets pushed back by the one as well. Bad timing. Rain of fire coming down. Misses the stun completely. Kraken coming out onto the best. He only needs like one auto attack to really finish it off. And he's juking. He's juking around so long. Look at him go. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh, almost oh, he almost got Poseidon with the fire burst. Or oh, the fire wave. Look at the duke in there. Seeing as smite, it's all skill shots. The all attacks are all skill shots, so you can duke the all attacks. Unlike like Dota 2, uh, League of Legends. So Copenhagen Wolves pick up uh, the first blood there. So he gets his level 2 Warlock Sash. Gives him a bit more health and mana. Uh, he needs about another 1,100 gold-ish. 1,150 gold to get level 3 now. Just to finish that off. And then he can start building them valuable stacks for extra sustain later on. Everyone's just kind of going back to the left. Sobek gets the pick up onto Bada Ymir. Ymir taking a hell load of 
ult from Zatman there and gets finished off by Sobek's ultimate as well. So we took two ultimates, two ultimates into the face and then it's finished it off. Q uh, Sparks misses the charge and the fling onto Cupid. He was just too far away. Good direction, just too far out. Boots of Celerity coming out onto Ymir. Ymir is obviously going to want that movement speed later on. Jump out onto Cupid. Satman just misses out the, on the... Well, it didn't just miss out. It was quite a, a distance away on the shard stun. But it was good effort anyway. Heart Bomb coming out by Cupid. Just mainly on the creeps. Just trying to keep the creep waves down. He doesn't want to have too many come to him. Ymir coming up through the jungle. Will most likely get spotted. Doesn't get... Actually, I don't think he gets spotted. Uh, in the right hand lane, everyone's level 5 now. Poseidon, obviously, because his middle is level 7. But everybody's got their ultimate, so. Uh, Guan Yu subsets susceptible to the Ring of Spears, which could come out. Guan Yu's might. And they're all. If there was an ultimate come out now, it would have been a good time to do it. He would have locked both of them in, full Sh Shamu Khan to use his leap out of there. Obviously, you want to bait out the leap before you catch the rings. Catch him in the ring and lock him in there. But. Uh, We'll take anything, really. Gunyu's might coming out there. Also, the two from Freya coming out. There's both Od Odin and Samukon's ult. Freya's ult and Guanyu's ult coming out. So there's four ultimates going out in this one fight. Samukon leaps out of there. Leaves Harok pretty much at the mercy of Odin. Uh, Guanyu took pretty much the full burst from Pompon. And they're just chasing him down there. Going for the two. Does manage to land the two. But will most likely take get himself killed in the process. No, he manages to back out there. Shadow... Zoning off Samukon extremely well there to kind of keep Pompon alive. Pompon, he's coming back there. Maybe get his two off there just to kind of be really annoying. Has to be kind of careful though because one leap from Samukon would probably jump down on him. And there he decides just to jump back. Obviously, if he jumped in there, he could have... Uh, would have been caught out there by Odin quite a bit. You may get stunned against the wall. Sobek's ult. Uh, not Sobek's ult. No, Sobek's ult coming out there. Zatman's ult going down onto... Ymir as well. Aegis comes out just to protect himself from the Sobek ultimate. And a defensive, lovely defensive wall there coming out. They're still going to chase him down though. Maybe a leap out from Zatman's going to come and do it. He's just so there. Cupid just getting in the way to kind of protect him. So they're working for each other. Well, they're teammates. Of course they're going to work each other. Just to kind of protect him. But there's so much, well, I wouldn't say so much aggression, but when the, when the initiations happen on this lane, there's so much damage goes out. You get the mere stun. He uses his ult. Uh, obviously, Sobek's getting the pluck, so he's pulling him up into position for everybody. So, just cracking on there a bit. Poseidon has finished his uh, level 3 Warlock Sash. Uh, finally got ages and one mana potion, actually. Pompon's rotated middle just to kind of hold that way. Agni's not there. Now backing off into the jungle. He's going to leave that for kind of Agni. He's going to take the red buff. And now Poseidon is going to start working on them 100 stacks of the Warlock Sash. It does take a while to actually get the Sash up. So he's, he kind of needs to kind of crack on that quite a bit. And it most likely keep him in lane quite a while. As he's, as he's going to want to get his, all the stacks. You want them all. You, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. Now, I don't know if Guan Yu's actually had much use out of... Meditation, personally. Might have done. Oh, it still gives 15... Uh, they, they've changed this item around a bit. So, but it still gives 15 mana plus 5. So that's good. Uh, Guan Yu gets caught in this ring of spears again by Odin. Uses his ult because that's pretty much all he's got. And he's doing quite a lot of damage to him, actually. Someone can go straight for Freya. But Freya jumps up, uses the ult, takes out the creep wave while she's at it. Now using a few shots onto Harrok. Harrok's just kind of duking around. Then charges through Odin. Gonna use his free, but Samukon's ultimate coming out there on Freya, so they're focusing their attention on Freya now. She's going under the tower. There's no more mana. There's free coming out from Harak. Uh, Aegis amulet from Freya as well. Harak's probably gonna get taken down by the tower. Oh, look at that smidge health. Manages just to kind of get away with that. If he'd have stayed a fraction longer, he would have been caught out. In the left hand lane, we've got a bit more action going on here. Probably a pluck up onto Ymir again. Gets taken down. Let's just bring it back a little bit and kind of see how that those turn of events actually started. So there was a bit of action going over by the Gulf Fury. And I'll move and get that pillar out of the way. So it comes back in, comes back in the middle again. That's the second time that a stun shard comes out from 
So that man ults through onto Ymir. Ymir blocked himself in with the wall. That was like a, a lag issue. And then gets finished up by... Well, gets finished up by Arnher. But there was a spin coming out from Sobek there. Now, Ymir is tanky as hell later game. His tanking scaling is really strong. But early on, with the, like the first 10 levels, he's really quite squishy. If he gets caught out and caught in the wrong place, uh, he's going to get taken down. As you can see now. How many times has he died? He's died two times now. Cupid's managed to get away with that. So, but Cupid's got his dash. Whirlpool coming out by Spray. Kind of keeping on there. Best also on the farm. Uh, he's not finished his Bancroft talent. He just kept the level 1 Bancroft talent. He's finishing off uh, Boots of the Magi. So he wants the penetration a bit first. So there's, there's quite a lot of... If you can see this here. There's, there's quite a lot of magical power in the level 1. Bancroft talent. There's 20 there. Now that that's quite considerable for a level one item. It kind of gets close to the death bringer for physical characters. That's only like plus 15, but magical users generally seem to have more magical power than physical power users get physical power. So, but that works off really well for him in late game later on. Now Freya and Sunwu caught in the jungle here. Two coming out from Freya. So Sunwu manages to back out there. Just decides. Nah, let's just leave that one alone now. We don't really want to mess around too much. Spray getting his red buff, taking a few hits from Rain of... Well, one hit from Rain of Fire and one hit from the Fire Burst. Ymir going up behind the best. You can see him coming round now. And is he going to get the stun off? Does get the stun off. Whirlpool Kraken coming out before he could use his Aegis, but it does take some damage, reduce some damage from the Aegis. Ymir ults come out and a sprint dash from Agony. Does save his life there. Look, Zatman gets another star shunt again. Ulma and Fling up there from Sparks. Finishes off Ymir. That's the third time he's gone down to that combo. Kind of needs to be... <laughs> oh, boy. He can't really be any more careful than what he is. Odin's gone his might onto Sun Wukong. Pushing him right back. Harrop going straight for Pompon. Pompon -Pom. Pom -Pom taking a bit of damage. Misses the Banish. Guan Yu's ult coming out onto Pompon. Pompon -Pom. Pom -Pom jumps into the air using his ult. Ring of Spears comes down onto Guan Yu. Harrop just stuck in there. Great wave. Guan Yu's might... And also the speed buff from Odin. Banish going up onto Samukon, taking a few hits, and then the second hit just as he lands from his leap to finish that off. So that was a two kill in that right lane as well. So we got it all going on. Two going down, both in that lane going down in quick succession there. Demonic grip coming out from Freya. It's the executioner version for Freya. It's, the, it's a Freya only item, basically. It's a Freya grip. We should call it. Uh, everyone's finished off their boots. Well, nearly everybody. Uh, Copenhagen Wolves, as they're a bit behind in gold. Only about 3k behind in gold. That's where all their level 3 boots are at. Uh, Sparks misses the charge onto Cupid, though. Young Bay managed to kind of keep out the way of that. Did take a spin from him, though. Uh, middle Tower's getting pushed a little bit more. I doubt they'll go for a dive versus a Cupid in Ymir. You, this, it's just one combo you don't want to get. You get caught under the tower, you get stunned, you get heart bombed. Then you've got all the alts coming out. Freya rotating round. Going to catch Ymir off there. Banishes up in the air. It's going to start doing a load of magical damage there. So he's taking out, just taking loads of damage. Defensive wall comes off, pop, blocks Pom Pom. Heart bomb on Satman. Heart bomb on Satman there. While he was chasing around. Kraken coming out onto the best as well. Whirlpool holding him in place. No dash. Likely going to use his dash now to get out there if it's not off on cooldown, as we haven't seen. The one coming out from Spray. Now, Spray can see him all coming. He needs to get back here. He's going to get caught out. There's going to be a shard. Not quite get the stun. Ymir ultimate coming out onto him. Going to spin up by Sobek. Sobek gets the flick up. And Pom Pom finishes that off with his ultimate. Now... In the meantime, look at that. Uh, Summercon did come in there, but then took the final few hits from Freya and just got finished off nicely. Uh, middle Tower will go down. As soon as all five of them are here, they will just kind of finish that off pretty quickly. Uh, I would say they're going to go for a goal for you now. As soon as they're all met up, uh, Harok does see them go and does know where they're going. Ward coverage is solely Curse Gaming at the moment. I don't think there's no wards for Copenhagen Wolves. They've uh, either been completely counter warded out. Two players on Copenhagen Wolves do have wards in their inventory or in their bars, uh, but they're not down at the minute, so they've just been counter warded out. Now, Gold Fury did get picked up for Curse Gaming, so they now are about 6k ahead. 
Guan Yu going after the best, pushing him back. And forcing him just to go back and kind of probably finish off his Bancroft Talon. Yep, it's bank level 3 Bancroft Talon coming out there. So whenever uh, Agony gets a bit low and you know when you kind of get stuck or you think, oh crap, I'm going to die anyway. Just drop all my meteors on top of someone's head. That's when it's really going to start kicking out. Or when he gets low, manages to dash out, drop a defensive meteor to come back on. And that way. Following on board with Spook. Just kind of clearing the creeps. Now we're starting to see some counter warding coming out from Copenhagen Wolves. Likely going to get counter warded again by the best. As like I say, it's it's like a, a little mini game inside Smite. Who can win the ward battles? Another. Look, they got a curse game in ward right there, just to kind of see when everybody actually comes up to Poseidon. So they see him even leaving the lane. Could maybe get caught out there, but is he just dropping wards? No, decides to back out and carry on. Uh, Ymir's finished his... Zatman's finished his Executioner. So there's going to be a lot more attack speed coming out from him there. Uh, what's Poseidon doing? Poseidon going for a steal. Doesn't quite work off there. Gets his Whirlpool out and his one. His one didn't really do anything. And on the left-hand side, there's a lot of action going on to Freya. Freya taking a bit of damage from Cupid. Uh, Ymir's all goes out there. Doesn't hit anybody as Freya just kind of flew over the top and landed down outside in safety. He's starting to back out now. Sudden coming in to the left. Uh, Zatman is following round. So Spray needs to kind of get out of there. Maybe the Pluck's going to come in. That should be coming off cooldown anytime soon. There it goes. Gets thrown up in the air. Gets stunned against the wall by Zatman. And he's, he's got he's had his ultimate up again as well. Taking out a few Rain of Fire hits from uh, Agni. Uh, Pompon gets the banish up onto Cupid. Cupid's just using his dash to kind of get out of there. Now they're stuck. Well, they're not stuck now as all the curse gaming are going around the buffs. Going to pick up the blue buff while they're there. Agni's just kind of keeping them away. So yeah, the Executioner's finished for on her. So loads of damage coming out from him. So if he goes up against the tank, he's just going to rip them apart at the moment. Because there's no major physical items. Mystical Mark coming out on... Ymir now, sticking with level 2 celerity boots. Gets stunned by the shard again. By that man's getting really good at starting to kind of land these shard stuns. They're, you can kind of say they're exceptionally hard. It's one of the ones. Pick up by uh, onto Cupid. Gets stunned against the wall and spun out. And then gets picked off again by Zatman. I, actually, I think Sobek got the killing strike there. Or death blow. Some will come coming around just trying to kind of... Defend off middle. Gets stunned against the shard as well. Uses uh, beads to kind of stop the Sobek fling. Otherwise, he would have gone down more than likely there and jumped out of the way. But yeah, like I was saying, about the, the obsidian shard stun, you kind of... It's one of the ones you have to predict where they're going and throw your spear almost instantly because the moment your shard comes up, they are going to move out of the way. They are going to know it's coming, so they move. So you literally have to put it up where you know they're going to go and throw your spear straight away. Uh, and Zapman is getting exceptionally good at landing those stuns. He must be must have been practicing long and hard on it. Or oh, the counter warden coming out. They didn't quite... Ymir couldn't quite get to that ward to kill it before Agni killed his ward. Right hand tower is going to go down for Copenhagen walls. That's the third tower going down. And they're all kind of beasting in. Uh, on her, actually, he's going for the Titan Bane next. He's at level 2 Titan Bane, so... It's not really going to do much against the carries and the the squishier targets, but if you go up against your Mir and Guan Yu, if they like, build total physical protection, you're just going to rip through all that. It, you're going to negate most of it. It's pretty much like the defenseless build, really. With the, 30, the minus 33%, and then the Executioner on top of it, it's just... Yeah, it... it, it Pulls apart pretty much all the physical protection that any uh, god has. Uh, Voidstone coming out from Guan Yu. Obviously he wants to put out a little bit more damage. Take could take a bit more from Freya as he was getting pounded by them Freya Valkyrie blasts, which not very nice. <laughs> Nobody likes it. You always hear her go up and then you're just like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like it. Uh, Poseidon's finished off his Boots of Magi now. So that was his third item that he decided to finish off. He has Sprint and Ages. 
And Summon Con is going for a Void Blade, which is pretty standard in this. Curse Game and are going to take this Gold Fury down com completely uncontested. A few monkey bounces out there from Sun Wukong. Did, uh, did a bit of damage. Actually got a pomp on a few times. Agni just kind of tickle. I, I like to call the little damage tickle damage. Tickle, tickle. Level 2 Mystical Might onto Ymir. He's just desperately trying to get that protection up whenever you can get them gold. Poseidon getting that. Get their Ring of Speared as well. Ultimate coming out from Zatman onto Spray. Spray using... Didn't... Actually, he does... Hasn't... Didn't have uh, Aegis on call... Well, must have had it on cooldown. Guan Yu using his ultimate onto pretty much everybody. Pompon -pom just coming out there. There was Guan Yu's... My... Well, just everything. All attacks from Zatman. Ultimate from Freya. <laughs> it's one of the ones you kind of look at it and go... Yeah, he's being hit by everybody. He's just going to die. <laughs> oh, look at that. The, the, uh, the shard stun and the flick up. It looked like Sobek got the flick up before the shard stun hit the wall. But then the animation kind of caught up with it, put it against the wall, then flicked, li flicked uh, Summercon back. And then everyone else kind of finished him off. But that was kind of like a, a really buggy, uh, a buggy animation, but kind of cool at the same time. Sobek's going in there. Just going to use his ult just to clear up the creeps, get rid of that. Middle tower does go down for Copenhagen Wolves. So, Curse are in a commanding lead now. They're about 14k gold, gold ahead, 12k kill, uh, 12k kills. That would have been a lot of kills. They're going to go for the Fire Giant, but 12 kills ahead. This is going to be very difficult for uh, Copenhagen Wolves to pull this back if they can pull it back at all. Uh, pick up on your mirror again. So. A bit more actually going on. Gets walled in there by the Ring of Spears. I did see him go down, but it looks like they disappeared. Ult coming out from Cupid onto everybody. Did do a lot of damage. Look how low they are. But the stun from Zatman come into onto Cupid. Pushed him against the wall. Just kind of blocked him in with a shard, then finished him off there. Maybe if Cupid could have got in there, maybe got a heart bomb off to, onto like Freya or Sparks. Could have maybe got a kill or two. But Curse have decided to back out there as... Look at that. Guan Yu and Poseidon would have been able to take out three. And look at him. He's in, he's, he's in bits. He's in bits. He's just terrible. Terrible. Look at that. The, the Digimon kind of everywhere. Come on, man. Pull yourself together. You ain't Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> so get everyone to kind of carry on. Uh, on her's finished. It's finally gone up to the top of the gold uh, lead now with all them kills. He's uh, six six kills, not death, and five assists. So they really want to kind of kill that man. Just... Just to get him out of the way. Because he's being a really annoying. Or for them, he's been an absolute dick. But he's just landing them skill shots off superbly well. Taking a first level one Deathbringer. So he's working on his crit now. And he's high damage like single item. Frey coming out with the gems. So she just wants to just get the extra slow onto everybody. Guan Yu's might go enough onto uh, Guan Yu. Guan Yu just kind of backing out there. Charges back out. Sobek chasing down Spoo. Just dropped his ult there. It's more of a defensive thing again. In the right-hand lane, everything's kind of cracking on there. Odin gets the Ring of Spears in round beside him. Sun using the Kraken in the middle, but there's like an Aegis Amulet there to stop the stun possibly there. A lot of damage going in down onto Poseidon. Rain of Fire on top of him. Coming for like uh, Freya's ult finishes there as well. I thought it was kind of a two, but now it's her ult. Ymir's ult. It's, uh, Odin just going, nah, stay here. Look, look. And then Aegis right at the last minute. It's a perfect timing by Shadow there. Fling up onto uh, Ymir from Sobek. I think Ymir's just so annoyed at that Sobek now. Defensive wall comes out there. Odin's going to actually probably get the kill. Let me just quickly speed up over here. No, gets... Decides to back off as co for, uh, the other three Copenhagen walls were coming around. I'm going to do that. And in the meantime, Zatman was pushing down the left tower with on her. And is most, li most likely going to actually go for the Phoenix as well. You can see him now. He's just going to carry on. Just keep pushing that tower down. Uh, Guan Yu in a sticky situation. Kind of get, does get the, uh, uh, Sobek does get the flick up. Rain of, uh, charge coming out from the best. Uh, fire wave as well. Rain of fire on top of his head. He's just getting hit by everything. Run, Harok, run. Oh, man, he's just getting taken down. Now, at this point, uh, Cursor in a good position to come in behind Copenhagen Wolves. So they're just going to get caught out there. Oh, Somukon uses the Aegis just in time to stop the flick up. Uh, and misses the stun, but then takes a load of damage from uh, Freya and everybody else there. 
Is that man missing? Actually missing the stun, the stun uh, obsidian shard stun. Get heart bombed and he's jumping in the air. Does go off. Pushes back Cupid though with that leap. Uh, Cupid's dropping his hearts out there to kind of just get as much health back as he can. Uh, using his Aegis. Now in a bad spot because that stun's likely to come off cooldown anytime soon. And then just gets blown up by Agni. Ymir getting pushed out and banged against the wall by uh, Zatman again. So, surrender vote coming out from Copenhagen Walls. Disagreed. So, there's some disagreements in the Copenhagen Walls camp on should they just end the game or should they still carry on and fight to the end. Uh, Guan Yu's using his ultimate just on everybody. I think he's just going for Zatman by the looks of it. He should. Maybe if, gets walled in there by Elden Ring, so we might as well just go for Zatman. Should have just probably gone. Uh, Whirlpool coming out from Poseidon onto Pompon and Odin. Uh, the, the Kraken going out onto Zatman. Zatman finally goes down. The first time in the game he goes down. And that's going to kind of help him out quite quite nicely. There's an 81 respawn timer. 81 second respawn timer onto Zatman at the moment. Banish goes up onto Harrow. Harrow gets flipped back and... Well, I don't quite know. He just got spun forward as well. Poseidon does manage to pick up Freya with his Whirlpool and one. I think he used his one. Not too sure. But he managed to pick up the Freya kill. So they managed to pick up two key kills there. There's a lot of damage coming out from the Freya and uh, on her. Now they're just kind of left with Sobek and... Sobek, Agni and Odin. Now, Copenhagen Wolves need to kind of make a bit of a push going on. They've got 46 seconds. Look, Fre Freya is just like three levels lower than uh, that man on, on her. But the, look at the, the respawn timer. It's exactly the same. It's going down exactly the same. So they will be both back up at the same time. And that's just the three level difference. So let's just crack on. Rodder to Hootie coming out for Poseidon. He wants to get some of them hard hitting. That Just that spell power up. He's, he needs that extra damage just to kind of really put the hurt on Curse Gaming. Uh, Cupid getting his executioner now. Uh, stun going out onto Agni. Whirlpool underneath him as well. Uh, there's a load of ultimates going out. Ymir's ult, Cupid's ult going out. Samukhan's ult going out as well. Uh, the best does ages most of that damage. Odin taking quite a bit and sparks. Uh, the best most likely going to go down here. Getting used. Look, this the last ditch rain of fire. You see that Bancroft Tanner's coming out. Catches him up. Triple kill there. That there shows you the power of the Bancroft Tanner. Does finally go down. And they are going for Poseidon. But it gets walled in there. And uh, Shadow's a really low health. So is Harrock and Spark. So it's kind of like, whoa, who's going to get the Lex hit? Aegis Amulet did come out from Spray. And going to get hit by uh, going to use my Anna Spin as well from Spark. Sparks didn't really cause any damage from what I could see. A free coming out from Guan Yu. Uh, Sobek needs to kind of back out now. Does manage to get the kill off on Poseidon with his free. And look how low they are. So they managed to take... A 4-1, uh, a 4, four two, yeah, 4-1 engagement there, really well, no, no, pom pom, um, do you know what, no, 4-1, yeah, I'm going to leave that, four people died, four Copenhagen walls, and only one went down for curse, and that was Agni, and you could see the power then of the Bancroft Talon, where he was really down low, and just, that's it, just throw out all his reign of fire and all of his abilities, and that managed to get him off a triple kill, and now curse, two man in, the fire giant, no one else is really going to see this. No Copenhagen Wolves wards around. As they're all going middle. Now, this this is this is pretty much signed the end for Copenhagen Wolves. But as I always say, it's not over till it's over. I doubt they're going to pull it back though. But we'll just see how it goes. Uh, the coop, a bit more. They're going to go for the Gold Fury as well. They're already ahead. What's it? 18,000 gold now? That's just mad. Look at the the items. Some of only finished two items. The others are kind of on their third item. And then on the Curse Gaming side, they have like five items done. It's just loads. Everyone's kind of just... It's just getting that last farm in before you get that push. Just kind of getting it down, working your way down nicely. Getting around. They are going to go for the left Phoenix as it's just respawned. They don't want to leave that one up too long. Now, Zatman has finished his Deathbringer. So with the Fire Giant and the Deathbringer as well. It's just Hurt Train. Hurt Train all the way. Here he comes in. He gets the stun onto Cupid. Young Bay, look at that. 
1005 critical damage coming out there in the last hit. It was pretty much overkill for that. Uh, Summoncon did drop his ult there to kind of just keep everybody back. And then the tower is going to go down here. They're most likely going to push in. No, are they going to go finish off the Phoenixes? Probably up. Well, Paul coming out there. They managed to catch Ymir again in this ring of spears and the Sobek fling. Uh, Guan Yu's using his ult onto them. Frey goes up in the air and just going to hammer down on his head as he tries to charge out of the way. Sobek ults underneath. Going to keep him slowed down there while the rest of them kind of catch up. Stun coming out from on her. But it was ages out of there. He's ultimate onto Spoo. Just manages to kind of stay alive while he's in the well. Well. And then taking out some uh, stuns. Kraken coming out there. Manages to pick off Sobek. But everyone's pretty much just focusing the Minotaur now. Is it going to go down in this time? No. The best is ch running back out there. They could probably finish this. If they just kind of went Hail Mary onto the Minotaur, they could finish this right now. Are they going to do it? Monkey Bounce coming out there. Now they've taken a lot of damage. They need to back off. Their pompons really low. That Monkey Bounce is causing quite a lot of damage to her. And also the best is below half, which isn't the best, really. They do decide to go back for the middle Phoenix. They just want to kind of keep all these Phoenix down, keep all the fire creeps coming in. Keep pushing. Now, the first person to finally break the 10k gold mark is uh, Poseidon, which is spray for Copenhagen Wolves. On, uh, the first person to break the 10k mark on the Copenhagen Wolves side. Uh, you admit. Oh, look at that. There's Spoo coming in there. Get the lovely monkey bunts on and slam onto Pompon and Odin. But gets banished, unfortunately. If he only landed like one more hit, he would have got the pom-pom kill there as well. That would have been really good. <laughs> get that kill off. Get Clear that uh, fire giant buff off at least one of the damage dealers for Curse Gaming. Ymir coming in. They're just pushing back the creep waves. Holding off the inevitable now. Let's just speed it up as we all know what's going to happen here. Camp, creep camps, creep camps and creep camps. Push that back. Protect the towers. They haven't lost a single tower the whole game. There we are. Everybody's on speed. Look at them. Woo! Crack on, crack on. Someone gone. Is going to be the first one to see this. And I'll keep the speed a bit more. Rain of fire and stun coming out. Didn't actually hit anybody though with that. Now finally hits someone gone with that. Takes about a quarter of his health out with that one rain of fire shot. Now... It's got to be the final push. Come on. Don't hold it back anymore. Finish him. Just finish him. <laughs> Not one giving too much away. Look at that on uh, on her auto attacks onto Summercon. Just causing like mass amounts of damage. Like a few hits here and there. Just finishing it off. They decide to go back to the creeps though. Keep them coming in. Obviously they want to use the fire creeps to go in there on top of everything. Uh, Summercon does use his beads and leap out of there to protect himself from the Sobek charge up. Now, Ymir just getting taken down before he can use his ult. Poseidon's cracking coming up, pushing that Odin. Uh, Sobek was still in his ages, actually. Uh, Pompon takes down Samukom. Uh, Ring of Spears is holding in Guan Yu and Cupid. Going to get taken down by Guan Yu's might. And on her ultimate on top of them there. Harrock's taking a lot of damage. But Sparks is just going in for him. Gets managed to finish off Cupid and then gets taken down by the Minotaur, really. Uh, Guan Yu gets the credit for that. Freya gets Poseidon as well, using her ult. And then the Minotaur finally does go down in all that confrontation. Uh, curse go up 1-0 in the, the round of two versus Copenhagen Wolves. And I'll see you a lot in the second match and see how it goes on. See you there.